think it probably is overall. What we can't be certain of, we don't have a scientifically robust measure of that. The buildings at risk register, the more work you do on it, probably the more things that get added. But what we are doing this year then is doing some more scientific statistical work on an owner survey as to how they're finding their buildings and a condition survey by specialists who will say, is it getting worse or not? There is a distinct lack of support from local council and national government um, and the instability in national government means heritage is always at the bottom of the, the grapevine. Um, Milford may look pretty but there are um, an abundance of listed buildings at risk including the RG McCrum Institute, the ballrooms at risk and the Milford House estate is, has been declared one of the top ten listed buildings at serious risk in Northern Ireland. Hoping to start with the Irish National Foresters building down North Street in Lurgan, which is a listed building. And uh, we're also hoping to start with uh, 47 High Street, which is at the very top of the town and is one of the oldest buildings in Lurgan, um, both of which are in a derelict state at the minute. So through this scheme, we hope to restore them to the way they were when they were first built. By and large, reusing a building will emit less carbon, overall whole life carbon, than knocking down and starting again, let alone all the heritage benefits, the authenticity, the sense of community, the sense of belonging.